since since I haven't watched a Marvel movie in like forever, mm. I feel like that was the perfect one to get back into. Oh, that's it. the best one. Yeah, there's because, there's no there's no good one in the yeah, past no, like through because five it was years. Like, fam. The most unserious Marvel movie. Like I would have never the first five. You never minutes, watched Deadpool ever? No, never. So well I done, came well in. Done. That's a perfect one yeah, to watch. That's a perfect one so to watch. Perfect. Like imagine I'm I'm Mr. ADHD, right? Yeah. So the first five minutes when he, they did that whole scene while introducing the yeah, credits. That's how I'm a Deadpool fan, bro. bro. That's how I'm a oh Deadpool. Oh my God. Deadpool dead at, so Deadpool first came out like in the 90s or whatever, right? But he wasn't that big of a hero. Yeah. And I found him in like grade two. Mm. But that's when everybody wasn't really into comics like that. Yeah. But they're into superheroes, Spider-Man, Batman, whatever. Okay. I found Deadpool in Ultimate Alliance. I see this guy with katanas and guns. Yeah. I'm like, yo, who is this? Because it looks like Snake Eyes, yeah, right? Yeah. So I'm like, holy shit, this is the coolest. And I used to tell all my friends, yo, Deadpool's fire, Deadpool's fire. And I'm like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, like, they yeah. don't know who it is. True. Until years later, they finally make the movie, yeah. and then boom. Bro, you know you know what killed me? The the Channing Tatum. I, I don't know what the fuck, because I haven't watched it in a long time. He has, like, an what? accent? Yeah, why? <laughs> okay, this is why, this is why. <laughs> so, in X-Men... <laughs> His character, his character is Gambit. <laughs> yeah. His name is Gambit the Cajun. So he has a Cajun accent. Cajun. Cajun, Cajun. Uh, oh, I thought Cajun. You know the guy, like that's, the like, know the guy that's like, yeah, yeah, Cajun. Oh, that's it a- is. That's what it is. Oh, shit. Cajun the Spice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cajun comes from that area. Um, This is where Theo Vaughn's from. It's like Louisiana. Oh, Louisiana. You know what I'm he was so bad. Well, is it supposed to be bad? It's supposed to be bad. Okay, no, it's okay. just. That's actually a good Cajun accent. Okay, yeah. Like, it doesn't sound... It, that, that's how they sound, bro. <laughs> you know the guy that has the... Um, he was popular on TikTok. He had this big bowl. He had he had corn in it. Uh-huh. And he had, um, I think, prawns or whatever. No, okay. no, he had a crayfish or crawfish. Yeah, yeah, the... F- and then yeah, that's <laughs> how we do a boy. Like, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's, yeah. that's literally... That's the accent he was doing. Okay. It was so funny because when people had reactions, when people walked in, mm-hmm. I went on my phone and said, oh, who is this guy? Really? <laughs> yeah, because, I, okay, first of all, who is the, the bald girl? Oh, that's like, like when pro- did she that's get like introduced? That's like Professor X's sister. That's a new character. Okay, that's a new character. That, and that's, and that's how calm. about the, the little girl that was wearing the glasses that wanted to Yo, be Wolverine? Yo, you never who watched Logan? No. That's the toughest film ever, really? bro. Really? That's, that's a, possibly mm-hmm. the best Marvel film ever made, in my opinion. Okay. But the reason why is because they took a Marvel film and didn't make it like a Marvel film. Mm-hmm. They made it in a Western. Mm-hmm. So, you know, cowboy style, cowboy West, there's yeah. a hero, they go on a journey, and then people are chasing after them, and okay. they get killed, and it's mad violent. That's a Western. Mm-hmm. So they made Logan directed how they would make a cowboy movie. It was fire. Really? Okay. Because, yeah, yeah. yeah, whole time I was confused, but good thing, like, at the beginning... Before everything started, he's like, let me take you back. I'm like, oh my God, yes. Yeah. Because I need a backstory <laughs> before any of this shit happens. Mm-hmm. I'm like, first of all, are they supposed to be the villains or like the, the superheroes of this shit? And then. Who, who do you so think fire. Deadpool was? You thought he's a villain, right? Yeah, I thought he was yeah, a villain yeah. at first. He kind of is, kind of. Yeah, but when they teamed up, they're, they're like the superheroes, right? Yeah. Like that's the, yeah. the whole thing. D- yeah, Deadpool Deadpool's a villain, but he's also a hero. He's yeah. like <laughs> he's like real life people, though. But, but seeing like Wolverine and like his lowest, it's like seeing LeBron old. <laughs> I'm like, you get what this, <laughs> fam, when I seen Wolverine and he was drinking. He looks good though, no? No, he did, but, he looks good. but at the campfire, drinking, at the bar, drinking. Fam, oh, that's yeah, my, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think Wolverine was what I had his video game. He mm-hmm. was one of the first like like people I watched, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? And and going from like prime to to straight to the end, like fuck yeah. this might be Wolverine's last <laughs> last run, fam. But he's gonna he's gonna end up playing that character for a long ass time. Because this is what happened. I don't I didn't Since think they so. brought him back, yeah. He's gonna be stuck there because they're gonna be making bread. Like yeah. bro, they brought Robert Downey Jr. because he's gonna Again. bring money in. Mm-hmm. They can bring him back, and they're just going to keep rolling and rolling and rolling in the dough. After Deadpool, bro, they can make, like, three of those films with Deadpool Wolverine. And it won't get tired because there's so many stories to do. Yeah? No, because at the end, right, I stayed, and they were doing a whole montage of Wolverine when he was young. And I'm like, and I told you earlier, I was like, yo, that's the last time we're going to see Wolverine. Mm. Deadpool obviously has future, but what are they going to do with, bro? I have a question for you. Yeah. So would you rather have... A piece of content that connects to so many different pieces of content? Yeah. Or would you rather have something that's a one-off and it is what it is? Which one would you like? I think for 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 in this term, like Wolverine's legacy, one off. And anything you watch though. Anything I want. Yeah, obviously I want a multiverse. You want a multiverse, right? Okay. So (laughs) here's the here's the issue. It's because some people want this, some people want that. Yeah, yeah. Comic books. 
I don't know if people bag it, but they don't always connect. Mm. Like you'll have a you'll have a, a story and it's just boom done. Yeah. It doesn't necessarily have to connect unless a writer picks it up and like, oh, I'm gonna go off what bro bro wrote. Yeah. So realistically, all of these think about Phineas and Ferb. Mm. When you watch Phineas and Ferb, you enjoy the episode and it's just one episode. It doesn't necessarily connect. Like it can call back one, two times, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be like, I need to watch this, then I can watch this, then I can watch this. Yeah. The beauty of Phineas and Ferb. It's dead ass. Whenever just you watch it, when it's on, boom, they understand the viewers are casual. Yeah. Right? So for content, even on YouTube, like us right now, uh -huh. would you say our content is oh. is it a pickup thing or is it a episodic? No, it's it's kind of like Phineas and Ferb. It's like Phineas we, and Ferb. Yeah, every every episode, it's not like a continuation. You don't really, yeah, it doesn't really continue. Yeah, I just, just bagged that though. Yeah. But it kind of does. Because the reason I say why it does mm -hmm. is because once we say if you deep it though once we say one thing it's interesting to see what their brains like if i was an audience watching us yeah where they would take their thoughts next or they were they would take their creativity next to mm, and okay. seeing like let's say i watched 100 episodes of somebody yeah going to the next 200 episodes like how their mindset progressed if it got better or worse or where they're taking themselves, that's you know? True. No, that's a good point. Because I just realized, like, you know, like, the old show, like, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Zack and Cody, Deck, Phineas and Ferb, mm -hmm. they all had structure. So it wasn't, yeah. So, like, you tune into one, uh, Candace, Candace uh, tries to get the mom. You already know. It's every episode. Yeah. So it's like, that's why they always tune in. Because it's like, you can do it whenever. Hands down, the best structure for a cartoon, though. Yeah. Regular show. Reg I didn't watch that. <laughs> you don't watch You're it? saying that over, oh over Phineas and Ferb? No, but th this is why I love regular show, though. Why? Regular show? Explain the structure for me. So what happens is it starts off regular. Yeah. Literally just anything day to day. There it's pretty much a, a blue jay and a raccoon. They work at the park. Mm -hmm. But they come across some regular shit. It could be like a meal. Yeah. And you ever see those memes that go, Mordecai and Rigby would risk their lives for this shit? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they would. The, reason, the reason they would do that is because they would be taken into some next mystical or supernatural planes oh. to try and do regular shit mm. so one great example there's an episode where they're trying to um complete this burger challenge yeah and to complete the burger challenge it takes it takes mordecai and then it the last challenge takes his like soul sucks him into this different dimension mm. and then he has like more challenges to do true, true, true. so it's playing with the regular but also playing with the supernatural that's but the supernatural is always always there mm. and it gets like really psychedelic yeah because these ideas is just like so random and 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 out of there but they're the ideas that are always present if you think about it okay so it would be regular regular show then random side mission then mm -hmm. how would they end it they just overcome the they overcome it oh, okay they overcome it no, I don't know. I don't know if that beats Phineas and Ferb. There oh, you have a, to watch it though. You have to watch it, man. <laughs> I, I fucked with the because I feel like all Marvel is um is the the purpose theme. Like, oh, I don't have a purpose, uh, and then let me let me show them my purpose because that was the whole thing. Like, Deadpool wanted yeah, to be the yeah. Avengers. He had no purpose. And then, it was like, structured like a yeah, like a me video. <laughs> Real shit. That's Yo, actually, it was though. Yeah, no, it I actually was, saying, was. I was saying it had the same structure as Inside Out too. Hot take. Inside Out. Yeah, because Inside Out, like they got sent into the void and they had to try and go back to the headquarters. Same shit. They they were they were uh, sent into the void. I never watched it. Yeah, so. you'll see you'll see the similarities. Yeah. it's not as crazy as I I say it is. Be. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. What the fuck? I know. So I'm like, yo, it's the same storyline in a lot of things, but it's like, this one is just like real people, you know what I mean? And it's tropes too, because people yeah. are just like, okay, would you say that's your favorite duo? Haiki, that's my favorite duo. Ooh. I have to, let me see other duos. Deadpool Wolverine, that's a fire duo. It is. Duo, it's that's so, a crazy yeah. duo. Yeah, it is. That's a crazy duo. Also, leave in the comments who you think is Deadpool and who you think oh, is Wolverine. Oh, that's easy. Because I think you're Deadpool. I think yeah. I'm Wolverine. Fan, the whole time I was like, yo, I'm sorry. If I was introduced to that as a kid, yeah. I would probably be on the same wave as you with Spider-Man. Oh, really? I'd probably be the biggest Deadpool fan. fan. Yeah, I, to be honest, my my favorite favorite yeah. is, is Deadpool, but I can't really... I never said it like that. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. It's like, who the hell are you talking about? No, because if I was a superhero, that's exactly me, fam. Like a troll, I would like to be trolling the whole the time. The guns and swords is yeah, so tough, like, though. Oh my, that's my shit. I bro. understand now why you move like um after you watch all these like like Marvel things, you mm. move the way you move. Because after Deadpool, I was like, yo, I want to get into a banger. Like I don't want to have like. Well, I don't. Fight. I don't do that. No, I don't no, even like, move the way no, no, I move. No, no. But I wanted to like train. 
Oh, really? Like, you know how much you watch uh, anime and it makes you want to train? Yeah. For some reason, this one gave me confidence. After I w- was walking on the street, I'm like, I hope someone gets into things because I'm a, I'm a Deadpool them. You know That's what I mean? That's kind of crazy. I felt That's so confident. That's kind of crazy. That's what I'm like. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yo, Deadpool is my true calling, fam. Like, <laughs> I'm going to become the Filipino Deadpool. <laughs> Line that shit up. <laughs> I'm Gav Pool, fam. You know how they had all the, the multiverse? Yeah, vegetables? what color would you look at? Like purple. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a yellow Deadpool or a yellow oh, yeah, spider. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. There is a yellow Deadpool, though. Yeah. Um, damn, we're getting super comic y. Yeah. But, like, there's a yellow Deadpool. Like, this is the only time I'm going to get comic y with these yeah. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, in the X Men, Deadpool yeah. Deadpool joins X Men and he became yellow. Like yeah, oh, yellow is so tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so tall, but it's it's kind of rare. Like I don't yeah. know if a lot of people. No, know like about yo, it. that re- Deadpool's character like resonate. You know how characters resonate in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, I see myself in Deadpool, bro. I'm about, to, <laughs> I'm, about to st- I'm about to go to acting class, do a whole other course. <laughs> yo, okay. Do you think? Yeah. Let's say let's say there was um, you know how there's comics and shit, mm-hmm. and there's characters anime. They're obviously fake things. They're obviously fake people. Yeah. But what would you do if the person portrayed in the anime was real? Well, what do you mean? How would you treat them? Wait, what? Yeah. Give me an example. So imagine Deadpool was a real person, but it's like almost a storytelling of a of a real person. So all of the cartoon, like let's say Naruto is a real person. Okay. Yeah. But Naruto is obviously not real. Mm-hmm. But that person is real. How would you treat that person now? Like. Face to face? Yeah, how would you treat them? You'd probably treat them like the character, right? Probably. So check this out. A long time ago, uh-huh. I don't know if you heard about the Asahara, the Asahara cult. You ever hear of no, them? No, 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 no. So Asahara, he had this cult. It's called Om Shin- Shinriko. Mm-hmm. But bro, this guy, he's an he became an influencer and brainwashed every single one of his cult members <laughs> to do terrorism. Whoa. To, to pretty much try and take over the world and kill people. Yeah. Now, this is what happened. So, like I said, he used, he actually used anime to influence people. What? Yeah. Wait, so he wrote an anime and let them read it? He, so he became this person, yeah. right? He tried to portray himself as this messiah that would teach people how to conquer their spirituality, how to reach levels of consciousness that are above everyone else, how to find Zen, these things, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what he did to portray himself in these supernatural states, he would make propaganda to feed to pretty much the entire population of Japan. One of the things being anime. So they made animes of him, him being depicted pretty much like Jesus, like levitating, pretty much doing all these miracles, but people started believing it, which yeah. is wild. And so many people believed in him. He had over 20,000 followers, 20,000 real people My goodness. that were in his cult. And probably like 40,000 people worldwide. Yeah. That's how big his cult got. Now, what, what made him so smart, though, uh-huh. he didn't just attack. He didn't just try to get anybody in his cult. What he tried first were to get smart people. Mm. And what he did... He got the smartest people he could get his hands on so that he can take it to the next level. With the smart people, what would they do? So one of the people he got was, um, it's like a, a chemical neuroscientist. Oh, shit. That's, That's like one the of the smartest of the smart. Got, he got an engineer. Yeah. And he got a business analyst. All of these different people. And he pretty much made them like the four horsemen of the apocalypse Damn. in his cult. Like his gang is crazy. Yeah. And what he did, bro, Obviously, being a cult leader, you want to take over the world. That's what you wanted to do, pretty much. Mm. And you can imagine, he has some haters, this and that. Yeah. There was, yo, there was dead ass a detective trying to take him down because he realized he's trying to start a cult and it's dangerous to all of Japan. Where? This detective, he had a whole case ready to destroy this guy, ready to go, collected evidence and everything like that. One of Asahara's cult members one of the leading four they heard about it through the news yeah before the story was about to go out literally through the office even before the story was published they went to his house killed him his wife and his baby son yo they took the bodies and they buried them in different parts of japan disappeared and the method to kill them you know what they did why because he has a neuroscientist in his (laughs) He has this. Yo, they 
they made this chemical that would poison oh them and just kill them. That's insane. Crazy. Now, the reason it's crazy is because what happens later with that same similar poison is so f- bro. Why? Because him being the cult leader, anybody that got in his way, he's, he's taking him out. Mm. And that was the first time they did it. A second time was, yo, the second time? What happened? Fam, they, they were, they, he pretty much put every person in his cult through some crazy shit. They would take people, put them in dark places for over 24 hours, no food, no water, no nothing, no light. Oh and they would put them into weird ass positions. They would try putting them underwater on, on almost about to drown them. He, he, he made people hang upside down for like hours and hours and hours on end to try and pretty much unlock their abilities, trying to lift up their spirituality. Mm-hmm. One of the people that decided to join his cult and continue with these practices, one of them passed away. Okay. And he, he, got, he got in a cardiac arrest. Mm. And you can imagine, once all of these other cult followers, all the other members, like, yo, what the fuck? This guy died right in front of us. And he's, he's trying to find enlightenment. Now there's a switch. Because all of these people, they think they're doing yeah. something right. It's yeah. not like they were doing dumb shit. Like, they think this is real shit. Mm-hmm. Yo, you know what he said, though? Why? The cult leader, Asahara, he pretty much said, the reason he died, and this is some S-tier gaslighting, he said the reason he died was because his physical body wasn't ready to go all the way through. So he passed away because his spirit needed to be transferred oh, to another body. That's, that's some crazy gaslighting. So everybody in the cult's like, no, we have to do it. We have to Yeah, so <laughs> everyone in the cult was like, oh shit, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Like, you know the little yeah, yaddy. Like, oh shit. Oh, yeah. Fuck. Bro, Bro, gaslighted every single person. Jokes. Fam. Asahara. Mm-hmm. Became so infatuated with power, he wanted more and more. One of the things he wanted to do was go into office. Yeah. And he pretty much ran for president. Well, not president necessarily, but I'm pretty sure some high political so official. They didn't, they didn't kill him at this point? Like, he was still running they shit? I don't think they found out. Because the reason they didn't find out, their shit is like this. Okay, yeah. It's very, it's very like, you know, hush. It's very cult, cult. Like, mm. no, everybody's riding for each other type yeah. shit. Now, what happened, bro... Yo, when he ran for, for like, Senate or whatever he was doing, I think it might have been president. I think he was running for president. Mm-hmm. So when he ran for president, dog, you could imagine, he he could gain a lot of a lot of follows, a lot of pre- votes, but there's gonna be some haters and shit. Because even like you think about it, there's so many haters on on political figures. Mm-hmm. And what was happening? He was getting bullied. Yo, he didn't like that. Fam. Yeah. He didn't like that. And it was, you could imagine Japan. Yo, this is what's wild. Yeah. He's fucking smart. The reason, the reason it works so well in Japan is because what? Japanese people are very, 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 very honorable. Mm. They're very, very, very loyal. Yeah. If you were to start a cult, They're with that's Japan. the place you yeah. would want to do it. Because you know how Japanese people, um, I'm pretty sure traditionally, Samurais, they would, yeah. you know, they would tsk, tsk mm-hmm. themselves before, before they, they failed. Yeah, that's the timing they were on. Yeah, just look at like career right now, fam. Like that's the timing they were on, right? Yeah. Now, bro, when he ran for president, he could not take failure. Yeah, that's not a possibility because he's being portrayed as pretty much like as a god, as a messiah, mm-hmm. in front of everybody, and everybody's treating him like that, right? Yeah. Thousands of people. We're, this is this is like physical too, bro. He lost, he lost the race, yeah. and it was so fucking embarrassing to everyone. And and everyone was clowning him, clowning him in the media, clowning him in the media because it became like a joke. Because he was just a laughing stock. Oh, you thought you're gonna win? Like you're crazy. Mm-hmm. He decided to do an attack on Japan. What? Yeah, he did an attack on Japan. And what he did, because he has the frick. This guy's. Thanos, bro. Like he has yeah. a person that's work. He he had like four different people, right? The four horsemen of the apocalypse, pretty much. He had one person looking for for nuclear weapons. He's looking for armory. Damn. That guy failed though. He couldn't find anything. He had somebody looking up um, strategic ways they can get back at the people in power. And they couldn't find anything. It was whatever. All right, no scandals. Boom. But one of them, the neuroscientist. 
What do you find? He developed a chemical, a neural gas that could poison and kill a bunch of people. A lot, a lot, a lot of people in one exit, in one. And he dropped that or no? Fam, they tested it on a field of lambs. Dead. Killed the whole field. Holy shit. Now, when what, was this, fam? I think it's like 1990. <laughs> okay, so, okay. 1990 or 1980, around that time, around yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like you can imagine, yo, what he did, fam, he went to the subways of Tokyo. What do you do? Just and dropping the release gas. Release the gas. You have you seen Japan I'm, subway? Japan yeah, subway is, is like sardines, I know, bro. Yeah. So if you're dropping it in the train, you're killing at least thousands. I'm pretty sure. Let me get the exact number. Yeah, yeah. There are so many victims, bro. Holy smokes! Look at this. Tokyo subway sarin attack. Yeah. How many? So a thousand people were injured. Thirteen people immediately died. Oh, I thought and, I thought and so. severely injuring. Like, no, hold on. Yeah. Severely injuring a thousand people. Though. Oh, okay, okay. Like, these people, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, they're, they probably can't even... Probably already dead at that point. Dog, it's, an, it's a neural poison. Insane. It's a neural poison. They're, you know, they're not all there anymore. Yeah. Crazy, bro. And all because he couldn't take failure. The police cracked down on him. Yeah. They raided that shit. They found out everything that he was doing. They found the bodies. Cracked on every single person. Bro, these people really thought he was the freaking... Like in second coming of yeah, Christ, yeah. Messiah, <laughs> I know. you name it. Yeah, I mean, if he, if you're, holy shit, because you can imagine, like, if you're watching anime, you're watching Naruto. Yeah, yeah. but Naruto's about a person. Mm. How would you treat Naruto in life? I was gonna say, like, if Spider Man or thing was real, like that even happened with the Joker. Mm -hmm. People thought the Joker was real. Look what happened. People started painting their face, going going to like thing. Mm -hmm. you know now, what I mean? so now I have a theory though. Okay, okay, and that brings me to my theory because back in the day. A lot of comics, a lot of cartoons, movies, fam. Yeah. They used to be based on real people. Word. Yeah. Like, there used to be storybooks written about Jesse James. Yeah, Jesse yeah. James was a real criminal. But they made stories. They made, like, fan fiction. They made all of these different adventures that weren't oh. really fake. They were fiction. Yeah. But it was attached to a real person. Mm -hmm. My theory, the government, people, officials, they know this. Yeah. They know this. They know that if you take somebody real and start adding all of these different things fictionally in the public view, they will be presented and, I guess, pretty much per perceived mm -hmm. as someone that's really, like, I don't know, has a lot of power that they yeah. that's not necessarily theirs. Yeah. Crazy. Wait, so he was he was found out and, like, they yeah, found Yeah, they him. found him. He, I, pretty, I think he died. All, like, his whole, ga his whole gang... Yeah. Sentenced to death, 2004, wow. I think. But I think, you know, the, the darkness retreat that they, that he said to do, mm -hmm. that's a real thing, though. I, like, yeah, like, yeah, people, like uh, people go and, like, do 24 hours of straight darkness, no food or something. And then when they come out, there's, like, the videos on YouTube that are, like... <gasps> it's not good for you, like, though. Uh, I've I seen a few videos where it, it was beneficial. Like, they, they did say that they were more spiritually like, thing. Or maybe it's just all cult shit. But he was pulling it to some next <laughs> levels. Though. Yeah, okay. Maybe it's, like, after next saying, levels. like, okay, now you have to hang yourself or something. Like, that's bad. He was hanging upside down. Like, yeah, you, that's insane. And I think In that was the person that... One of those people had yeah. cardiac arrest and they Fast. died. But yo, the gaslighting is crazy. Yeah. But that's how cult, cult, cult leaders really move, though. There like, was, um, oh, fuck. There was a YouTuber that said he studies uh, how cult leaders move, like the greatest cult leaders. Mm -hmm. I was like, saying that on an interview is insane because, because obviously YouTube is obviously, everything is like a cult. Like yeah. e even Marvel's a cult, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. If Spider Man tells you, oh, jump off a bridge, you're jumping off a bridge. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's your goal. He I don't teaches care. You that's great responsibility. No, no. I don't know about that shit. <laughs> when Deadpool was Deadpool, like, I'm the Marvel uh, Jesus. <laughs> I'm, I laughed out so hard. I'm like, shut up. But yeah, yeah no, everything's a cult though. So yeah, like, everything, yeah, everything's a cult. And if you really look into it, uh -huh. it's, we're taking part in that shit. Yeah, yeah, like, we are. And the biggest thing, which mm. is wild to me, because I was watching interviews on this stuff, interviews of the ex-cult members, yeah. and the same thing they were always saying was, yeah, I'm not in a cult. What are you talking mm. about? This is not mm. a cult. This, like, this is how I partake. This is like what life is for me. Yeah. In the same way, we're fans of what? We're fans of certain music. We're fans of certain things. We're fans of certain art. Yeah, we're not in a cult. Yeah, we're not in a cult, but we are. You know what I mean? Borrow you. 
Yeah. No, that's the thing though. It's like when you know you're in a call and you see people around you, because that's what happened at the Ken concert. Obviously, I was there and I had my camera out too. Mm-hmm. But I had a moment where like everybody was trying to rush to him, like jumping over fences, everything. And I just looked and I'm like, yo, this is insane. Like I'm part of this. Cause I me, I have my camera out too. Yeah. So I'm like, yo. When it hits you that you're in a oh shit, yo, like, you're in it. Bro. What do you do now? Sam, like, like wake crazy. up, yeah. wake up, <laughs> like, wake. Yo, like you're you're in that shit. You like Olivia Rodrigo? <laughs> well, shit. You're the probably a million other people in the same cult as you, dog. I know, yeah. The crazy. same shit. Y'all are probably wearing the same clothes. Look yeah. on your Instagram feed. Y'all are wearing the same I know, fits, yeah. bro. I wore black to Ken Carson, man. I'm, <laughs> I'm in it. I'm in it, man. <laughs> Y'all are in it, bro. <laughs> But the thing is, what's crazy, though, mm. is it's so um, accepted yeah, like yeah. that. When it's with music, when it's with art, it's accepted. But I think that's why it's like, it's so cool because in this generation, we're kind of all lost. Mm. So we want to join something, you know what I mean? And there's di- there's so many different things you can join now. So I feel like that's why it's been bigger. Calls have been bigger. Because mm-hmm. back then, were, were there really any? What do you mean? Like 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 cults? Like yeah, there's cults? way... Oh, music. Yeah, like music. Yeah, there's always there's always big followings of music. Yeah, always, always, always. True, true. Maybe it's just the nice. Beatles, fam. Like, okay. Yeah, there's a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. They they popularized that bowl cut. Mm. Nobody was doing that shit yeah. before, right? True. Any any like person of relevancy, mm-hmm. I would say they had their little bit of a cult, Word. but it doesn't. That's not what you would call it because they're not really preaching a religion. Yeah, that's different. Okay. I think the moment you put like God in the same sentence yeah it's different you know you know i have a theory because uh you always preach about like if you were to bring any artist back mm-hmm. you'd be like black eyed peas i feel like because like have you ever heard about recession pop no so recession, recession pop, pop? So is that when, charlie xcx no, no 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 so it's like whenever there's a, a recession or the economy is down the bpm of songs get higher and pop music popularized oh, so remember that that um your boy jay sean like uh what? when he said uh the is going down 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 and then down, he, he down. had a bar in there he's like i'm down like the economy then and oh then, uh, if you really bag it that song came out 2008 yes oh yes. Fuck, that came so, out 2008. Yes, so... 2008, the economic depression. Yes, yes. Oh, shit. So since 20... I think, like, soon they said it's a recession. I have a theory that pop music is going to become very popular again. Ooh, and the that's clubs a, oh. are going to... F- because remember, people listen to pop to escape from the economy, Holy from fuck. their jobs. Yo, Gavin, bro. Yes. Yo, COVID was the last one. Yes. Who popped out? Um, it was my fucking Doji Cat. Doji. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, you heard her sound? Fam, I, I'm Say not... so. Yes. Holy shit. I'm not even a, a listener of Charlie XCX like that. She's so smart for she, what she's doing right now because it's all pop escapism mm, music. It is. Bro. <laughs> Damn. Ask your... Yo, if you're younger, ask your parents about the clubs back then because the club scene right now is all... Um, standing around trying to f- be better than each other yeah. because that's what the music is. It's all new watch. I got a new watch. I got new money. Mm. Before, bro, Black Eyed Peas, they had Jay Sean, bro, yeah, everybody. Oh my God. Tyro Cruz. Imagine in the club, you're thinking about, um, what's that song? It's like, uh, you know, we know now. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Florida. <laughs> oh, if, if the economy's down and I know it's going to shit, I would want to listen to that shit. Yo, you know I mean? okay, okay. <laughs> Theory, theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? What <laughs> if you could predict the economy just by the music taste? You can. That's what people are doing. Yeah. What if you could pre- just predict it by yes. that? Like you don't even have to look at those stats. You can just look at how people are reacting, how yeah. people are. Because if you study, I'm pretty sure you can. This has to be studied. Yeah, yeah. Music somebody and music had yeah. to be studied for sure. Right? Like mm-hmm. they had to be looking at this from time. Yeah. And I think I really think I th- I'm pretty sure. During the certain wars, mm. music changed as well. Music? Like, um, for example, like World War II, there had to be a certain type of sound that just developed. Oh, yeah. Right? 100%. Is yeah. It, like, don't get me wrong. I don't know if this is correct, but oh. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Rock and roll, specifically the punk aesthetic, okay. was after World War II. Punk aesthetic. Okay. Or, like, it was really, like, pushed yeah. during certain wars. Don't get me wrong. Leave in the comments if I'm right. Yeah. Because I'm pretty sure something like that. No, it makes sense because there's times when it's like after the war and stuff, you want to listen to some certain like beats or certain BPM and it just hits you deeper. Mm-hmm. I feel like yeah, the producers definitely have to study that. 
Like that's why everyone's trying to move into the pop. Like, bro, if you AI uh your yourself singing a pop song, in two years you might blow up because that's where it's headed. You know the Godzilla theory? <clears throat> Godzilla, no, no, no. So you know Godzilla, the reason they made that character mm-hmm. wasn't to portray a freaking monster that's destroying Japan. It was actually to pretty much represent the tsunamis and earthquakes what? and natural disasters that Japan always faces. So that's why it was breaking down all the buildings and shit. Yeah, because oh. that's what a natural disaster would do. If you deep it oh. like that, fam. Because what they wanted to do was create a piece of cinema that can connect and unite all of Japan to yeah. feel the same emotions. And that's when, what it's yeah, about. That's true. When you're that's fighting against something, it's like everyone against the Godzilla. Now we have to team up to beat the Godzilla. And they and it's the same themes. And it connects oh. that way, right? Because you can imagine, like we're talking about music that connects to a certain time, mm-hmm. right? You couldn't drop that any time until after. That's true. That's actually yeah. true. Damn. So if if there's tragedy, usually something comes out of it. If you want to deep it, if <laughs> yeah. you really want to deep it, deep it, uh-huh. Jumper's Jump was created because conspiracies around pandemic oh yeah it was if you want to deep it like that just because not to say like we created we didn't create it because of that Mm -hmm. but because the i i want to say like the mindsets of people were at a level where they're looking trying to look deeper trying to look at grasp at theories look deeper at things that just looked regular in front of you yeah and that's that was the time timing that was a time when everybody was trying to do that because they're so curious because they see it right in front of them in real time happening. Did you think of that when we, we started? Or no, no, I really didn't. Yeah, it was but just like, it, but I, I thought of it now, literally yeah. just now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we finally found out why we blew up. <laughs> no, like, man, I thought of it just now. Yeah, yeah. But but it makes sense though. No, no, perfect. No, it actually makes sense. That made sense. Yeah, it was that. That's the timing of it all. So damn. Because usually, I think the biggest things that work the best in pretty much every single sector of art Mm -hmm. it's the timing was one yeah but the creativity creativity can be creative whenever but sometimes things only pop off like later down the years Mm -hmm. the timing is everything yeah it is stone period it's just timing damn bro doesn't it doesn't matter like how great or how good it is if it's the perfect timing and it's bad even if it's bad but perfect timing it'll still take it'll still be relevant though so you do need luck. Like, it, this shit was kind of luck, too. Or strategy. Can you predict? No, because I feel like there I still has to be a little luck. I wouldn't call it luck. I would call it... I would call it divine intervention. Yeah, divine intervention. <laughs> you know what I, mean? yeah, like, yeah. I would call it that. Because, yo, if you bag <laughs> it like this, this is how I like, I like looking at things is... Uh-huh. Everybody has their thing. Everybody has their their stones and rocks. You know what I mean? Some people have their lucky rabbit's foot. Some people have a four-leaf clover, whatever. Most people have faith, though, and at, at the end of it, it's all faith in everybody, right? You have faith in something. Now, the way I see it, though, is when something great happens and it feels as if, oh, that's lucky for somebody. What if, yeah, sure, you can call it that, but it was, in a sense, miracles that were unfolding. Mm. And it just so happens the miracle creates those moments for you to experience and for those people to witness yeah. But in their heads, they see it differently. But for you, yeah. and how I experience personally is I experience it as what you would call a miracle from God. Yeah, yeah. And then little miracles like that always happen. But we look at it differently. Like, oh, that's a fluke. Oh, this is a that. Uh, is it really? Maybe for or someone is else. It, it's... Is it they had faith in themselves for that moment mm-hmm. and it lines up that way. True. And a lot of times I find myself like if, if, I'm, if I'm like worried about shit, or if I'm like second guessing stuff, I remember like when I'm faithful and have faith and I'm not thinking about stuff, mm-hmm. it always goes smooth road, boom, and I get to where I want to go. I get to the place I didn't even need, I didn't even know I needed to go to, mm. but I got there because of faith though. Yeah. I've seen a sick painting. So it's like, I don't know if you ever heard the the death of Robin Hood painting. No, I never heard of it. So it's like it's like Robin Hood when he's like hella old, right? Mm-hmm. And it's him with his arrow and he's like about to shoot his last arrow. And he has like two friends behind him, right? Yeah. And like the whole meaning of it is like when he shoots his last arrow, wherever it lands, that's when he, he that's where he's gonna get buried. Oh, really? Yeah. So it's like very like 
like significant. Damn. Like, so, that- so whenever he shoots, that's where he gets buried. Like his friends will bury him. Is that a him. true story? That'd be yeah. fire. Yeah, it is. It is. And that's why I was like, that's why I was like with the Wolverine stuff. I'm like, damn, he's hella old now. It sucks when like you see your heroes like old. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? So my question is like, if you had like a final painting of you, what would it be? Would my final painting That's be? That's a crazy question. Like the, Robin- the pod like this. <laughs> 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 That's so bullshit. That's so bullshit. <laughs> Me with a mic. <laughs> no, me in the grass like this. <laughs> Would you die for your dreams? This is Carlos Cornell. Yeah, yeah. Like, like legs up like this, mic like this. That's Carlos Cornell. <laughs> <laughs> I was I was in Hawaii. I showed you the video, right? Yeah. yeah. I was in like the highest trails. I looked and I was like, damn, this is very Carlos Core. Like, and I was like, yo, record me real quick. And then I just sat down, like, yo, would you die? For your <laughs> you pan to the nature. Yeah. So jokes. But it's so it's such a thing that everybody can do though. Like, you know what I mean? It's just people don't do it, bro. But now whenever I catch myself doing it, I'm like, why am I trying to be big? You know what I mean? But it takes it takes one person to do it for it takes a little bit of a ripple yeah, yeah. for the whole ocean to move, you <laughs> exactly. know? Exactly. And that's why whenever I catch myself doing it, I always think like your little stupid tote bag that you have. You're all, like if I ever drop bro. if I ever drop a video like that, you're gonna be like, yo, here it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That. It's a goodie bag. <laughs> no worries. Fuck I would that. copy myself too. Because <laughs> I I'm I'm aware. But a lot of a lot of these reels and a lot of these TikTokers, they not aware, bro. <laughs> but we're not gonna get into that yet. But back to the painting question. <laughs> okay, painting. Yeah. I would honestly really want I would want it to be something that's that's calm. You know what calm, I mean? Okay. I wouldn't want it to be spectacular. Yeah, and shit. because I feel like you're very s- I would want it to speak for itself as who the person is rather than what's going on in the pic, mm. you know? If that makes sense. True. Like, uh, one of the coolest shits is, um, oh, fuck. I forgot the painting. Yeah. But there's a guy in a chair, literally just like, he's like, he has a gun and he's like, just like this. Uh, but you don't know why he has a gun. You don't know why he has a chair. You don't know if he's happy, <laughs> sad, whatever. That's fire. You know? Yeah, yeah. So something like that where you couldn't tell what's on my mind, mm. but I played a trick on you because now I'm in your mind and you're trying to figure out what I'm thinking. Oh, okay, that's kind of sick. That's kind of so sick. it transcends. Yeah, I thought you were gonna go with the God thing because me, I would have God like going like this, like kind of like your um your tad, but like God, mm-hmm. but no sword and everything. But and it's just like touching down on me. Mm. That would be a sick way to go out. Imagine that on my wall. Okay, I have a question for you though because yeah. I think about it too. Like, is it? I wouldn't want to say blasphemous because this yeah. ties into the cult thing, right? Uh-huh. I wouldn't say blasphemous, but is it like it obviously isn't humble to think like you're anointed? Yeah, Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it. I don't think it is. I don't. Is that right though? Feeling that you're annoyed? No, I feel like I'm blessed. Everyone should feel. Do yeah, you think, that you're do blessed. Do you think we should all feel that though? Yeah. hundred percent. Because I feel like, yeah, if you have faith, then you have to feel like you're blessed and like you have something after. You know what I mean? Um. So this is the thing. This is like the the struggle I have with like, should you think you're more important than somebody else to do something, mm. or is it the wrong question? Is that asking the wrong question? Is it more of a should I you think, think it's this person thing? Yeah, should you think you're that person to do something? No, no. But at the same time, that's still like faith in yourself, right? That's still the confidence. That's like, and if nobody thinks like that, then nothing would get done. You mm, get me? I think because whenever I'm thinking of it, I feel like everyone else is blessed too, but it's like, yeah, I do feel myself as well. Like I feel like everyone's do you blessed. Really though. Yes. The the, re- the reason I say the reason I say that is uh-huh. because do you really like do you think um a girl okay one thing you're trying to achieve for example what like what what's one thing in my life i don't know uh biggest clothing brand toronto okay Uh, but that's different though that's different that's like something that's just something like people in the economy can do it's not like it's not you know what i mean it's not like um what's the word what you're trying to say like world peace yeah okay great great example okay yeah let's say let's say your your my goal goal is world peace yeah and you really like you dead ass want (laughs) to achieve that shit Yeah, yeah yeah Should you believe in your head that you're the person to do it? Probably. If you have that big of a goal, you have to, I feel like. Cause and and but in a sense, that's still not humble, right? Because why is this person the person to do it? You get you get what I'm saying? Or or no? Do you get you get what I'm trying to say? Kind of, but it's like there's a difference between confident and humble, though. You, you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Humble, humble is like, yeah, you can you can achieve world peace and just like do your own thing after. But confidence is like, no, I'm that guy. You're saying to everyone, I'm that guy. You're not blessed. You're not blessed. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, not saying, doing that. I'm not saying I think like that. Yeah. What I'm saying is, is it, it like, you know that little thing in your head that says, are you that person? Mm, okay. You know what I mean? You get me? Are you yeah. that person type of thing? Mm. 
fuck, I'm not really deep in it like that. Though. You never deep it like that? Yeah. I don't think like I'm the one is like maybe I'm the one for that moment. I'm the one to do this because mm, okay, everybody okay. else cool, cool, has cool, their cool. own purpose. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you, you, you're you blessed to do your own thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That's how I think. Because my thing is too is if you had an idea of it, that's a blessing in itself. Yeah. The idea of trying to do something is already the blessing, mm. I think. The idea of you. But then you have fucking cult leaders though, right? Like, you, know, you get what I'm saying here? <laughs> yeah. Then you have like cult leaders. Yeah, okay, that's too many factors. <laughs> We're going to be on this debate for like forever. You want another cult story? <laughs> Loki, I don't, I don't know. Should I, should I drop another cult oh, story? Oh, I, right I have one for you. you Cause, have one? Yeah, because I don't know if you've seen the, the recent, some guy came out and said like, the Zodiac Killer was his grandfather. Oh yeah, yeah, you yeah. Saw that? I saw a video. My my boy, yes. my boy Gavin did it. My yeah. boy Groovy Gavin. Wait, what the fuck? Shout out my dog. <laughs> oh word. Yeah. No. So the whole thing was um, uh, when we were talking about like how movies were based on real things, mm -hmm. bro. I don't know if you know like the whole story, but the Zodiac Killer is a guy who was a killer in San Fran, killed a bunch of teenagers, and then as soon as he killed them, he wrote letters to the police, sent them in and said, oh yeah, I just killed another person, come get me. Yeah, and every single one would have encrypted yes. codes. That's that why it's called Zodiac. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They couldn't figure out what he was trying to say exactly. all the time. Exactly, and, and it was crazy. I don't know if it is true or not, but on his deathbed, he, somebody said that he confessed that he went to the movies to see the Zodiac. So he was oh, in the movies shit. watching himself, a movie about himself killing other people. He was just there. Oh, shit. So he was a he was psycho. Yeah. So this guy comes out on TikTok. Whole Twitter goes crazy. What the fuck? Like, why are you... Wait, wait, wait. He's on TikTok? Yeah, it was on TikTok. That's not the killer. Huh? That's not the real killer. No, okay. So I'll tell you because... Okay, tell the, me about the this. The evidence is crazy. Okay, go ahead. So he said that his grandfather was Richard Hoffman. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is... The... Yeah. Okay, wait. I, I, thought, I thought you said Richard Hoffman was in the video. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's like, I, thought, hey, I thought you were saying like Richard hey. Hopkins in the vid like No, 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 no. So, <laughs> Give me my money Like, yeah. yo, what the fuck? No, that's insane. So he's doing that no. shit. So Richard Hoffman was like one of the guys. Yeah, he's the killer. Yeah, he was the guy who was like suspected. So guy goes out, says that thing. There's a, there's two more evidences. He reveals every family pic that he has. You know, like when the police does sketches of the killer? Mm -hmm. Matches exactly. So bro has receipts, right? And Richard was a, a police in the area where um, the, the Zodiac killer killed a bunch of his victims, right? But this is where it gets crazy because this is how I knew it was real. In the letter that his grandfather wrote him, he spelled until with two L's. Mm. And in the Zodiac's letters, whenever he spelled until, he had the was same mistake. Same mistake. So I'm like, that's not very coincidental. That, you know what I mean? If yeah. you mess up on a word, that's, that's how you write. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So... That's crazy how he found out. Yo, what's even crazier, fam? Yeah. Like, he was explaining how since he's the detective of that police force. Oh, yeah. In that area, he would be the first to the crime sometimes. <laughs> yeah. It made so much sense that he was a police officer. So when he would go onto the crime scene, he would be the first one there. Yeah. And he would touch up the bodies. Yes. Because obviously the DNA is already on them. Already, fam. And they could just pass it off as like, yeah, of course the detective's DNA is on the body because the detective is there. Yeah. Bruh, little did they know he was the killer. Yeah. And he was continuing to kill. Crazy, bro. Yeah, crazy. Crazy. But it's so smart because he, fam, he was literally hiding in the shadows. And he even did interviews, bro. What? He was doing interviews on the Zodiac Killer, speaking from a different person. Oh. Like, No, he's psycho still. And he was supposed <laughs> to crack down on himself. Yeah. That's some crazy mafia <sighs> mafia game. And he went out untouched. Like, he, I think, he, obviously, I think he's he's dead now. Yeah. But, yeah, bro went out untouched. Like, no, nobody could find him. Damn. Bro. And that's insane. I think, um, because if, if he was still, like, if he was still alive mm -hmm. right right now yeah and all of this shit came out he could still be arrested and he could still be put to sentences oh yeah, right? yeah i feel like his gram like the person that came out and exposed him bro i don't know if like he could get ex no like, no no that's not him can he no he, he can't get in trouble like his family line no it's not the person i guess you're gonna punish somebody that's his, his grand grandson no, I, that's crazy no no because i always had this thing was like okay if i ever committed right yeah 
the first thing I would do is to take out a bunch of loans, spend all that money, then jump off a building. You know what I mean? That's what I would do. But then someone told me that you can't do that because if you do that, then your your family gets into debt now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, exactly, debt, right? Yeah. So, like, my whole master plan was, like, like if I ever had those plans, like, that would have been shit because then I would have to leave that shit with Yeah, my, like your kids or whoever. Yeah, exactly. yeah, your family. But, like, I I, felt, I thought that the same with thing with the killer. Like, oh, you're, you're responsible no, for you, your... No, you can't go to jail for your... Freaking like relatives' okay, crimes, okay. like you didn't do the crime. Yeah, yeah, that would be true. wild if that's that the would, case. That would, that would, that would be wild. That's some like frontier justice. Yeah. <laughs> frontier justice. What, what's that? That, <laughs> lo- that was that lawyer that always gets people out. Jayoma. I actually J- don't know. <laughs> Jayoma would definitely get that bro. That get that guy in jail, man. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Who is this guy? Jayoma, like every rapper that has ever had like a case on them, yeah, craziest. So he does, he does an interview. Oh, uh, what was your case? I killed like twenty four people. Oh, wh- were you let out on bail? Yes. Damn. <laughs> everybody and everybody's thinking like, who is this guy? And he's like, oh, he was like that Filipino guy that was in nursing, and then he got picked on and wanted to take his like talents to lawyering now, oh, and now he's like, shit. every case he's like, I attack it, bro. Like everyone that that's that sends me money is getting. Out. I feel like being a lawyer is really dangerous, though. I feel in like the yeah. wrong cases, right? Yes, because I feel like Jayoma has some type of plug in the court system. That's why all of these guys are getting out. Because there's no way a guy that kills 24 people can get out on just strictly no, not even probation, fam. Mm. Jayoma's a gold, like. Because you can imagine, like, if I was um the defendant on the other side, mm-hmm. bruh. Like, wouldn't it, let's say you're gang affiliated or whatever, wouldn't you try to infiltrate the lawyer on the other team yeah. or whatever it may be? But I guess, I guess usually the court's fighting police, right? Or fighting the justice system to put somebody in jail rather than like facing a different type of case. Yeah, but that could happen too. That could happen. That could, right? yeah, I couldn't see that happening. Like uh, defendant versus defendant, right? Mm-hmm. Type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Damn. No, Yo, you know, Wade Wilson is a real person. Who, who the hell is Deadpool Wade is Wade Wilson. Wade Wilson Wait, is a real person and he's a mass killer. In real life, Deadpool. In real life, fam. His name <laughs> is the same as Deadpool, Wade Wilson, and he's a mass killer, fam. What? And I'm pretty sure he's being sentenced to jail right now. <laughs> what the f- as soon as X Men and Deadpool come out, nah, you can't No, go I swear to God. He's being. What? Yeah, like. What here, did I'll he do? You. What did he do? I'll show, you his, I'll show you his picture. You just have to look at his picture. You already know what he did. <laughs> I just said mass killer, Yo, fam. That's crazy. <laughs> Look, his name's Wade Wilson Killer. Look. Okay. This is the Wade Wilson. Oh, what the fuck? He looks exactly like how he did in the movie, fam. That's not him. <laughs> no, that's not. That, you know, that's, Deadpool's not actually him, though. I know, but he looks like But, a, yo, that would be wild if it tied yeah. together. Like, everything we talked about kind of tied in. Imagine Wade Wilson coming out at the end. Like the, the, the this end anime credits. about him and people yeah. like, <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, yo. Actually, <laughs> yo. side note. Yeah, yeah. There was supposed to be a Deadpool anime. Voiced by Charles Gambino. <laughs> Got scrapped, bro. Really? Okay, but anyways, back to Wade Wilson. Yeah, yeah. So, Wade Wilson, he, I think he killed, like, a child? Something crazy. What? I'm pretty sure. But he has, he has bodies. Okay. And he's pretty much being sent to prison because mm. he murdered people, right? Yeah, yeah. Damn. When you see his face <laughs> when he's being, yo, when he's being sentenced, he's, like, smiling. smiling. Like, bro does not care. Making jokes. Real menace. Now, this is what's crazy, though. Because everybody's waiting till he gets in prison because it's over for him. Yeah. The reason why. Why? He has a tattoo right here. And it's of the... Well, you, that the symbol. Okay. You, that sim- you know that symbol? Yeah, yeah. We can't really talk about it, but he has a certain symbol tattooed on his face. And that tattoo, you cannot get. You cannot get them if you're not earned it. If you haven't earned that shit, you cannot get that tattoo. Because in a certain gang, that pretty much means you're a high official of that mm, gang yeah he just got it to get it and that prison that he's probably going to be sent to is filled with all of those people in that gang oh i know so i think i know the moment he's sent to the prison yeah it's over for bro really yeah okay then we're not talk about the wrong prison because the reason is because like he's gonna be targeted bro and when they find out he killed kids like yeah yeah you know what I mean? Like, Crazy. they give no remorse to that stuff. So was his, like, so he's just, like, a, in real life, it just ended up that way? Like, he didn't, like, actually, like... I think his name is actually Will, like... I, I don't know. Is his name changed to that? Yeah. Let's on, see. Because let I was thinking about another jail, fam. Hold on. Real name. Not... Yeah, his, I think his name really is that. Yeah. His name's actually Wade Wilson, bro. 
Word. Well, I don't here. think he changed it. It's kind of crazy how he does look like Deadpool, though. Let me see. A little bit. Is you he know? getting sent to this jail in El Salvador? No. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. Okay, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one. So I've seen a, a documentary on 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 C caught. What's and, that? And it's like, fam, this guy, when you go in and you like take a tour, yeah. they're all all these guys. Imagine all these guys in tattoos just staring at you. It's like um they made the jail into like a, a zoo, fam. Oh, that's so wild. So you can go in and they said El Salvador is, was one of the craziest places to like visit, mm -hmm. but now they literally locked up everyone and everyone from that gang is in that jail. Oh, wow. And it's high security. Like they don't have- Wait, El Salvador, we talked about, that was the country that's really being cleaned up right now, yeah, right? Yeah, very, yeah, very yeah. clean. Yeah. And the thing about this one is they never turned the lights off. So- Oh, so that's people, illegal. No, like- they, yeah, That's, like, that's jail, like a war crime. Yeah. In this jail, they never turned the lights off. And one guy was there for a documentary Yeah, and walking through it, everyone- they, they never turn the lights off? No. Damn. That's what I heard in the documentary. That's that's crazy. It's crazy, fam. You know who else did a war crime? Who? You never hear about the Mr. Beast case? No, Mr. Beast. Because, you didn't Ronaldo, hear about because that? Ronaldo started a YouTube channel, so he's crashing out. Bro, Mr. Beast no, he committed didn't. a war crime on his YouTube channel. Bro, what? But the video was never posted. No, no. Yeah, no. The video was never posted. Mr. Beast getting canceled? <laughs> Yo, you didn't see the videos that are going out? When? Damn, there's bare so. There's this guy, this has he's a YouTuber. New. He just posted, I think like last month or a couple weeks ago, yeah. he was an ex-member of the Mr. Beast team. What and he was part of a lot of the content and specifically one video that he was in, a certain challenge. The challenge being him being locked into a room for hours and no, honestly, as long as he can. Oh, wait, that came out. Yeah, but it was not that one. There was another one. The video you saw and the video posted yeah. was the second try. Oh. Because the first try... They fucked someone up. Yo, the first try, one of the things that they did to the person yeah. was never turn the lights off. And the guy in there was going great. He was going insane. Holy smokes. And lit, like this is dead ass legality. You cannot leave the lights on in a prison cell. You yeah. cannot leave the lights on when you're torturing somebody, you should. That's literally torture. Like that's a war. Like it, it, you can't do that. Yeah, bro was doing it for a YouTube video. That the stay in the box, right? No, or, it was like stay in a room. Stay in a room, yeah. Yeah, just stay in a room. Lights are on, and you just have to stay there. And you, they give you meals. They give you meals, whatever, blah blah blah. blah. But they would never turn the lights on, so he couldn't sleep. That's insane. And he could, he, he dead ass couldn't sleep for days and days and days. Eventually, he just gave up. Fam, I'm I'm on I'm on in the internet, fam. I've never heard. You of never this. heard about this? No. Mr. Beast is getting canceled, big, big right time. Now. Yeah, he's getting oh, cooked up. That's but at news. the same time, though. At the same time, yeah. Even though all of this news is coming out, even though like, it's still Mr. Beast, bro. Yeah, I know. You get me? Like he's still Mr. Beast, <laughs> and as much hate and as much like people trying to take him down. He's growing just as fast as that. Yeah. But I feel crazy. like, yeah, even um, say, but that guy was fucked up. But he's not dead, right? I think he he definitely has like PTSD. PTSD. I think right? he had to go to therapy and certain yeah. things to like get over it. That's pretty much torture. Yeah, I know. But, but in, in the same sense, like he did do it willingly, kind of. Yeah. But he, I, he didn't know that's a war crime at the time. Yeah, it's crazy because it's like, yeah, having Mr. Beast's money, I could just if you're in that position, you're paying the guy off. Mm -hmm. And he's not saying shit to him unless like word leaks come out. But that's the only way that they would. We find talked it. about that one video how Mr. Beast they were gonna stay on the raft and they were supposed to sleep on the raft and stay oh, the yeah. whole time. That didn't come out. That came out. Okay. You know he didn't actually sleep there. Yeah, I don't think he does any of his challenges. Like there was, it's in the video right now. Like <laughs> yeah. if you watch the video, there's a certain frame where you watch it. They're supposed to be sleeping in this place that's like <laughs> tented up. The and wind blows that shit up for like a, a frame. And it's <laughs> empty. <laughs> <laughs> she was empty, bro. That's true. Yo, you know when um in the the movie at the end with Wolverine and, and Deadpool jump out the bus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the Wolverine standing like this? Mm. That was the worst CGI I've ever seen in my life. There's some bad you CGI. See that? Yeah, there's some bad I was CGI. like, why can't you just get Wolverine to stand like that for a couple minutes? Like, was he not there on time? No, it's, it, there's certain <laughs> shots that you can't really do. Like this, bro. I no, because he had the glass and shit. Like, oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah. yeah, it makes sense. But it would have been crazy if they did that practically. Yeah, yeah. They don't have time for that shit. But yeah, bro. That Mar yo, I heard some shit saying like, you know how like the whole thing is like the mark of the beast. Yeah. And his name is Mr. Beast. That blew my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Beast is the Antichrist still. <laughs> They're like, yo, you know when the world's gonna That's end crazy. when we get the mark of the beast, <laughs> fam. It's already Mr. Everybody Beast is in their heads, fam.
<laughs> What's that, the chocolate brand called again? Uh, Feastables. Feastables. <laughs> Everybody that consumes Feastables is cooked. <laughs> Least of all, is killing me, bro. Wait, did we talk about the the Stan the Stanley Cup theory? Stanley Cup. Did we talk about nah, that? Nah, the nah. Stanley Cup, like the the cups, all the white girls bring around everywhere. Oh, oh no, no, no. We never talked about it. No, fam. So you know how Stanley Cups? That's a huge trend. Yeah, yeah. All all the girls like bringing around the Stanley Cup. It became like a thing. Like, oh, you have yours, I have mine. Blah blah. blah. <laughs> trending. You know why they're trending? Why? Because of this one video that happened on TikTok, and this video was of a woman. In a car that was burned to fire. Oh, wait. No, never mind. It was burned. It was set aflame. <laughs> yeah. But the Stanley Cup was in the no. center console. Didn't melt. Wasn't damaged. Anything. Opened the cap. And ice cubes were still inside the Stanley That's Cup. That's kind of fucked up then. That a person died and you, you used no, that the, as advertising? They didn't die. They didn't die. Oh, it was yeah, just yeah, like a, uh, it was a car like set of flames, right? <laughs> but theory goes. Uh-huh. That video... That viral TikTok with the woman explaining that stuff. Yeah. That right there was the marketing. Word. You know, it was so serious because my friend is like big into like what's selling on Amazon. I can flip it. Mm -hmm. So he saw this person on the news with like maybe uh, she got pulled over for having so many Stanley Cups in her car Mm -hmm. that she got arrested. Really? Yes. Oh, shit. Like you could see the picture so jokes like they lined up all the Stanley Cups. Cups and she's just going like this. Damn. So I, I think maybe she stole them. Maybe she. I don't know yeah. what happened. But he sent me and he's like, "Yo, I'm done flipping Stanley what Cups. Like, f- it could actually be a crime doing this shit." So check this out. They actually tested it. Yeah. Shane Dawson tested it, and what they did, they took a Stanley Cup. Yeah. Put some ice in it. Lit it on fire. Threw it in a fire pit. <laughs> threw that shit in a fire pit, bro. Within like five minutes, ten minutes, it was melting. Like really, the the top part was melting. The metals are getting burnt up. Yo, they opened it up. It's water. So the whole time, the that whole shit was a scam? the whole thing was fake, bro. The no. whole that no, whole thing was fake. No, you marketing. That was the marketing. That video that went viral. Mm-hmm. That was the marketing right there. Holy shit! Crazy. Damn. So theory goes, man. Like, um, damn, Daniel, that yeah, guy. Yeah. Was a thing for Vans. Yeah. No, no, it can't be. Can't be. Can't be. No, that was just coincidental. It might have been. Yeah. It man. might have not been. How do you know to plant the guy that's... It might have been. It might have not been, bro. No, I feel like, okay, back then, everything was very, like, accidental. Ah, or was uh, it? Or uh, was it? Now you're making me... Or was it, Gavin? Bro. <laughs> do you remember that one video? This is proof of, This is proof in the pudding right here. Okay, okay. Remember that one video of the girl? She's, like, in yoga pants, and then she she's, like, twerking on the door. The door opens, and then she hits, like, a, a candle, sets a flame. You know what I'm talking about? What the fuck? You know what I'm talking? You no, don't know? No, no. So the, anyway, there's this super viral video of a girl like twerking on a door. She yeah. falls and she accidentally sets like her couch on fire. That video that went viral, they ended up playing that video like I want to say months after that video was put out. Mm. But they showed the extended version. Okay. And the extended version had motherfucking Jimmy Kimmel with a fire extinguisher putting out the fire. Yeah. After the vid, so it was set up by a studio by Jimmy Kimmel. Oh. So that whole thing of her, like the virality yeah. wasn't by accident. That was Damn. that was purposeful. Damn. Oh, Loki, mm-hmm. Alex from Target. That had to be yeah, Maybe it's fake. Maybe they, it's they put it, they, yeah. maybe Target it's sales was that yo, if that was when Target sales were down and they planted a, a white guy at the time that with a Justin Bieber haircut, extreme marketing. That's fire. Yo, maybe that's fire, bro. Yo, that's, no, I just, <laughs> you know nah, I, mean? I just had like, you know? Yeah, now now I can't trust shit, man. Holy I cannot shit. trust shit now. Yo, because like, if you think about it, every single, man, like every single thing you see, you can't trust it, bro. Mm-hmm. I have a crazy idea, but I can't even like yeah. say it. Yo, going back to the, the Godzilla thing and how you, you how it brought back, like how it brought together the Asians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have something like that for like- North Canadian? America? Yeah, North America. 9-11. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like in a movie, yeah. like in a movie, like that, that, that type of extent. Um, because that's actually Saving smart. Private Ryan. Saving Private Ryan. I would say that. Okay, okay. You you heard of that one? No. It's like a war movie. Okay, okay. That that one like gave you, I guess, like honor, yeah. pride to be like, oh, yo, we did it. I thought it was. Like, I thought war. it was Thanos. Because it's like when everyone. <laughs> <laughs> when, when all the Avengers came together, everybody in the movie theater, yeah, they felt prideful, you know what I mean? Like, that was the enemy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that works, too. That works, yeah. too. 
But I, I would say I would say any military movie because after true. I watch any military movie, I'm like, yo, I'm trying to join. Oh. I'm trying to enlist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that was me as a kid, though. Yeah. Nowadays, I know like, yo, there's some serious. You know, yeah. if, if you if you take on that that responsibility, you're taking on that responsibility. Not many people can do that. I right? didn't know like like this year specifically was so I don't know why, but usually the Olympics like just go and pass. But this one I was like very into it and people were actually like, yo, they're proud to be thing. You know, that's mm-hmm. the first time I, I saw people like to be in the Olympics. Yeah, but no, yeah, just to be in the Olympics. Like the, the Filipinos now like the the Carlos Yulo thing. Yeah. Bro, now everybody I know a hundred percent everybody's trying to train, get they're, they're gonna it's like the Carlos Yulo project. They're gonna have a baby, train it, go win in yo, the Olympics. For sure, for sure. You get two million. Yo, back in the day it was like nurse, uh, what do you call it? Yes. Doctor, blah 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 blah. Now it's now get a now medal. you added gymnast to that because he's a hero. Yeah. Because he's, he's a hero, you a added hero. gymnast to that. Yeah. They probably added podcasts and that too. And it's yo, it's so, <laughs> yo, so. no, probably what? Probably like eventually, I think the future generation they'll look at content creation as yeah. yo, that's valid. If you mm. can do it, that's valid. Singer, mm. you're valid. You know what yeah, I mean? Crazy. Think about it. And what's what's wild to me too is like. Isn't it weird, like, restaurant owner is, is one of the valid ones? What do you mean? Re- best restaurant owner? No, like, a restaurant owner. That's, like, a if you if you say you want to do that, oh. like, oh, yo, that's a great, like, it's solid, right? Yeah, it's solid. Yeah, I would say. If my kids had said that, I would be like, yeah, that's fire. But it, it, it's crazy now because what oh, happened yeah, with COVID, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. What happened to COVID? Damn, that's a hard one. Yeah. No, it's ever-changing. Like the, the, it ever-changes, the, 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 the trends, The trends. Like, bef- now you think a uh, content creator is cool now. You know what I mean? What's a job your your kid would say and be like, nah, I can't do that. Mm. I guess like OnlyFans, but that's just yeah, OnlyFans. That's just like I don't want. I don't. I wouldn't want my kid to be doing that. Yeah. What's a job like like a serious job maybe? Serious job. Honestly, you know what? I don't think I would hold my kid back. Besides anything that's around sexual, yeah, like selling your body, selling selling your body body for a profit. Yeah, anything around that, I wouldn't support. Yeah, because if I'm doing this. Then my kid has the, fr- yeah, that's kind of sets him up for like, well, he can do whatever in the future. Because if I'm doing this, he can just say, yo, dad, look what you did. Yo. That, that doesn't apply to me too. <laughs> like we broke the generation. Watch curse. my kid be the most studious kid ever. Like going to school, getting his master's, <laughs> becoming a doctor. But I feel like that's how it is though. Because it's like, you know, the trend is like, oh, your immigrant parents didn't didn't finish school. And it's such a thing to put the... You think you would go back though? No. Yeah, no. You I think it like, would no. reverse? Yeah, go back to like mm. because really, yeah, because you know how D Wade said, um, uh, God has this thing where it's like when you start planning another person's future, sometimes they can intervene and be like, oh no, nah, you you planned it too much. Like let the kid be him. So when he had um a kid, he said that, oh yeah, I planned too much, and uh, she finally found figured out who she was because he he was ready to have. Uh, a boy with That's Carmelo's small. with Carmelo's son oh, and him LeBron's NBA. son, oh. and he, that was his plan, right? Yeah. But then he said that God, oh, that that was his real mm. plan with her. I see, I see, I see. And yeah, I and see. that's when Zaya. Pl- yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like, yeah, that that would be funny. Like, if your kid came out to be hella like degree, degree, like Dad, fuck what but, you did. But do you think it would happen like that? Do you think it could yeah. go? Interesting. I feel like it's not up to us. How how have like the rock stars kids turned out? Rock stars kid. I guess I, Zoe, I Zoe Kravitz is like an actress. Yeah, bro. Just oh, yo, they're all actresses. They're still yeah. in entertainment, though, bro. No, Bridget Mendler. Her, her dad's not a thing, though. Oh yeah, that's true. Miley Cyrus, fam. Like, come on. That's true. But maybe those are just the it popular depends. ones I can name off the tip of my tongue. Yeah, it like that's not necessarily the majority. Yeah, let's see where Ye's where uh, North North. Uh, they're gonna out. do yo. They're doing entertainment. Yeah, yeah. let's be real. <sighs> let's be real. They're yeah. doing entertainment. That's true. That's true. But. Surprisingly, nah, actually. <laughs> it's really up to them to do like. No, because if you think about it, like, didn't Kim get her uh, lawyer lawyer's degree? Like, law, she did law oh, school yeah, she everything did. like that? Yeah, yeah. But, like, but I don't I think, think, yeah, North's, I don't think she, she doesn't want to do that, yeah, though, right? Like, I don't think North is going to do it. She though. just did it to do it, type yeah, shit. Yeah, if I'm in the North position, shit, I'm not. I'm, I'm joining my dad on stage. What the hell? Do you think it still holds the same, I guess, um, I wouldn't say aesthetic. That's like the wrong term to say, but like, it does, is. It still, does it still hold the same, uh, I wouldn't say value either. I don't know, prestige? Like what, would you would you have the same prestige? Like if you see a Kai Sanat yeah. and then you have somebody beside him, but he has like some next degree. Yeah. Are you congratulating Kai Sanat or are you congratulating the person that has some next degree? Probably Kai, Kai Sanat, right? Yeah. Yeah. To be honest. But the but the reason you would say that is because why? Because I'm in it. I know. Like because I like impact. 
like if you have an impact then that's all that matters in the world if you had some type of impact yeah you have that's worth way more than a degree so here's the problem though because there's some people then there's some inventors mm -hmm. scientists whoever they curated some shit that's mad impactful mm -hmm. we never heard their name yeah like who the f invented stairs right we don't know their name mr stair it's probably not even named stair <laughs> you know what i mean but we know who speed is we know who you speed know what I mean? is Crazy. And what are what inventions? Isn't that crazy? Like what inventions are being made today? Right? <laughs> oh, shit. If you deep it though, like what inventions are actually being made right now? They're probably a lot, but it's just like actually wait. Besides tech though, I guess nothing. Everything's already been done. <laughs> which is wild, but I feel like there's some nooks you know, and crannies. I feel like there's no, some nooks and crannies. You know, you, you know, like the the, t the shit that's that's getting invented now is like it's um it's a off brand of something that's already been invented that can make a shortcut so mm. it's like maybe like oven mitts and then there's For a an oven. oven yeah, yeah. You you're know right I mean? you're actually so it's right it's something that's already been made but it's just um a shortcut for shortcut it shortcut for it or yeah. or to improve the product exactly. you already have exactly, so you yeah. have to already own that product and i'm going to improve that product by this yeah yeah so it's like Ooh. oh say a mic uh, instead, somebody bought, uh, invented a mic with like a cup stand on it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just, just added, shit like that. It's, it's, it's accessories. Yeah. <laughs> it's accessories. It's not even lie, necessarily you guys got like the, Yo, thing. where did all the smart people at, man? You guys got to create some shit, bro. Oh, yeah, I heard the funniest shit ever. Whoa. Check this out. So this is so true. I don't know why. I don't know why this is not even a thing anymore. Like, so you know how white people, they have their phrases. Oh, yeah. You <laughs> said this <laughs> they have their phrases, right? They go... Get a load of this guy. <laughs> That's News some flash, pal. You know what I mean? They, let's hit the road. You know? They, they have some sick lines. Yo. They have some good ass lines, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, shit. Um, <laughs> what, what's your favorite one? What's your favorite uh, one? No, malarkey. That's some malarkey. <laughs> That's crazy. Or hit the road, pal. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's look some up. Yeah, yeah. I know there's some jokes. No, on. just play the video, fam. No, look, look. look. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. <laughs> That's some malarkey. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Here we, we go. We need Josh to say them. Josh let's rock and roll. <laughs> like me? Let's play it by ear. <laughs> like these phrases, bro. Yeah. These phrases. <laughs> that's a rich cup of Joe. What? I've actually never heard that shit. Let before. me be frank. Who the fuck is Frank? Let me be frank. Let me be frank. Let me be frank is like, let me be For clear. For Pete's sake. For heaven's sake. Who's Pete? You know what I'm saying? Yo, so I saw this TikTok and this guy, he had a valid point. Yeah. He was saying, like, white people had the best lines, but there's no new ones. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been a new one in time. They, they've just been using the old ones. It's been the old ones. Yeah. But they were the ones that created, like, they were setting trends that we all use. Like, But it's kind of the same now. There's more slang now. Like, what's no, the motive? But, that's not, no, that's but like, that's, not, that's not, like, the white people phrase. It isn't, though. it isn't, but it's the same thing. How do you like them apples? Like, what the f***? Uh, that's, you... that's cold. Like, where? Where did that come from? What is a Toronto slang? Huh? Newsflash, you... buddy. You're barking at the wrong tree. Oh, that's insane. You know? Like, yeah. where... Bro, we don't have these anymore. We don't have these. Leave down in the comments what your favorite, your favorite one was. <laughs> a lie. They have some bangers, bro. Oh my god. All right, if you made it to the end of the video, leave down a comment right now what your favorite dead ass, what your favorite white person saying. Thank you. Love all my white people. Yeah, yeah, we love y'all. Have the best sayings ever. I'm gonna keep saying them. G Willikers. G Willikers. <laughs> Who's Willikers? A lie? Like, who is that? <laughs> Yo, leave down in the comments your favorite white people saying. Y'all make the best ones ever. Yes, sir. Um, thank you for watching the episode of Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Sir, make sure to go to Spotify, Apple, download those episodes, rate us a five star. We love you guys, man. And go follow us on Instagram. I'm posting a lot of Reels content on there. Yes, sir. And I'm posting a lot on my YouTube, so go check that out. More films coming your way. Yes, Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.